to one of my dearest pony friends, Princess Buttercup. Princess Buttercup has been a dear member of our family for about eight years. She's taught both my children how to ride and gone to horse shows and pony club and camp. Um, and uh, she's gone fox hunting. And she's always brought my children back safe and sound. And uh, that's, she's really special. And she's obviously not spooky, which is the first thing you want to look for in a child's pony. Now, she is after me for treats. Um, because they're reminding me each of the points we're going to talk about for pony shopping, right? Okay, so the first one is suitability. Are they spooky? Are they able to do the job that you want them to do? If your child wants to show, has the, does the horse have experience showing? You know, you don't want anything that's green. You want something that is experienced. And if you have a trainer that you're working with, they can help you. Um, the second thing is sound. You want to be sure that they have a sound mind and a sound body, um, meaning they're not lame because you can buy a horse that's really suitable, but if it's not sound, you're going to spend so much on vet bills, your child won't be able to enjoy the horse. The third thing is vices. Now, obviously, she's a little treat-oriented, but biting, cribbing, um, what else, princess? Stall walking, weaving, um, all those sorts of things. You want to find out if uh, a horse has any of those before you bring them home. Um, and then the final thing is that helps with the soundness particularly is getting a veterinary exam. Uh, have your vet do a soundness test. They, they will rate on a scale. I've um, put it on a sliding scale as to how lame the horse is. And if you have a horse that's, say, just going to go on the trails, it may be a little stiff and arthritic, and that may be fine. But if you have a horse that's competing and jumping and really has to be very sound, um, uh, that may not be appropriate. In addition, they'll check all their vitals and uh, listen to their heart and be sure that they're healthy. And I guess finally, just sort of overall, you want to be sure your horse is trained properly, that it will go on the trailer, that it'll be uh, suitable for, it's easy to clip, it's easy to tie, because um, all those things, as a, as a parent, um, those things will really be very frustrating uh, if you aren't able to find a pony that's able to, to uh, get on the trailer and behave itself um, when you want it to. So those are your tips for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.